Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Surveyor 203 RKLE. This camper comes in at 25 feet 1 inch tongue to bumper and just under 5,000 pounds empty. As we get started up front here you'll notice we have the power tongue jack with the LED light so you can hook up at night time and see what's going on. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles have the quick access lid and the LP tanks will be filled by the Outpost RV. Right behind that we have a slot for your battery where that can sit and also with the red switch there, we have your 12 volt cutoff switch, which, which will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. If you're in storage, or gonna have it parked for a couple weeks. Diamond plate rock guard here. And then we also have your curved radius front end with the windshield up front. With the Surveyor product, it is all aluminum frame with the rafters, sidewall and floor. And it is a laminated product as well. And around every opening is also framed. So that way you are screwing into the frame rather than just the laminated sidewall. All LED lights outside, magnetic door catches, large pass-through storage here with the LED light inside. We also have the adapter for the jacks. We have four jacks on here, two in the front, two in the back. Nice 15-foot power awning here with the LED light underneath it. Each arm is adjustable on the awning, so if you're sitting here and the sun's coming down, you can simply adjust the pitch of the awning on both sides. As we move back, we have your entrance steps going inside. We also have this light built in underneath here, which is a really nice feature at nighttime so you can see where you're stepping. Oversized grab handle, full-size entrance door that also has the screen door, extra airflow there. We have your lights up top, which light up blue. And your outside entertainment um, connection right here with your 110 outlet and your TV connection. Each wheel will have self-adjusting brakes, all four of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see we have the center cap popped off there. These are the quick easy loop axles. <clears throat> we have your furnace vent right back here. And we also have your outside kitchen area. So it comes with a refrigerator, a sink area. We have your water source over here off to the side. And then this griddle, which is fantastic, multi-purpose. You can do a lot of stuff with the griddle here. In the back, we have the roof ladder for maintenance purposes. So you can get up there and keep an eye on the caulk. Travel rack with the spare tire included. Um, also up top, we have that black box that is pre-wired for an observation camera. You can have that camera at any point in time. It's a great safety feature. It allows you to see behind you the entire time while traveling and while backing up. This is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your cable satellite connection. So if you're at a campground and they offer that, you can tap right into it there. In the middle is your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you hook up your water hose there. That will blast out the black tank for you and clean that out. And then we have your city water connection. So with this, if you're at a campground, you hook your water hose up here and that will pressurize the lines for you. As we move to the front of the camper here, we have your fresh water fill. So that way if you're dry camping or boondocking, you fill up your fresh water tank, then you can flip on the water pump and use that water. We also have your six gallon DSI water heater. It is gas electric. It's a direct spark ignition, so you do not have to light it. It will light itself. You can get up to 10 gallons of hot water by running it gas or electric and up to 16 gallons if you run them both together. And last but not least, we have the other side of the pass-through storage up here. That concludes our outside walkthrough of the Surveyor 203 RKLE. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the Murphy bed up front here. Extremely easy to use. I'll show you that after a little bit here. Get a nice overview of the camper. As you can see, we have tons of counter space in here. And that stretches all the way over to the entrance door here. As we get started right up top here, this camper does come with an 80 watt solar panel on the roof. We have your solar charger up top there and controller. Underneath that is some switches for your lights, awning, and a slide room. Overhead cabinets here that have that glass in it. Up top, give it a nice home feeling there. We have your wine guard antenna switch up top. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible. TV that comes with it as well. In the kitchen area, we have that large window. High rise faucet over there, storage down below. You can see the furnace is ducted through the cabinetry. We also have this bottle opener here, which has the Surveyor logo on it. Nice feature that they add. 
Lots of storage as the kitchen goes all the way down. You can see we have a single bowl sink. It does have the prep covers that come with it. But it's a very large sink there. We have your um, furnace underneath the oven. And we have your oven with a three burner stove. And that also has a cover on it. So you can use that as prep space if you're not cooking. In the back there, we have a spot where you can put your knives on the right hand side. And over here on the left, we have a cup for utensils that has the surveyor logo on it as well. Microwave with your range vent, which will vent to the outside. Corner cabinets. We have your 11 cubic foot refrigerator. This is 12 volt only, which is why we have the solar panel up top. So you can run that while you're traveling down the road. Breakers and fuses down below there. In the bathroom area, we have your shower, which is more like a rectangle shower. Get lots of room in there. As you can see up above that, we have your skylight and your vent fan. Here we have your medicine cabinet. Nice uh, big vanity area here. Lots of counter space, big sink, 110 outlet. Storage down below. Over here we have your tank meters, so you can see how full and empty your tanks are. Also to turn on and off your water heater from the gas and electric side. And your water pump as well. We have the toilet. Then some nice storage here. Great for linens in the corner. And we also have a towel hanger right up top. As we come back outside here, you'll see the Murphy bed up there with storage on both sides. In the dinette area, we have windows on all three sides of the slide room. Nice light up top. We have storage underneath each bench. And that can also fold, into, uh, fold down into another sleeping area as well. That table has the live edge on it, gives it a really nice look. Back up here with the bedroom on both sides, you will have 110 outlets and 12 volt charge ports. We have cup holders on both sides, which also double as a nightstand then. Storage down below, we have hanging storage on both sides and storage up top, which would be held by a cargo net. So you can still leave it up there while traveling down the road. And then we also have some storage underneath the couch as well. And I'm going to show you with this Murphy bed here how this operates. You will grab onto the couch just like a jackknife sofa and that will lay flat. And then we have uh, one hinge right up here in the top right corner. So we will release that. And that is going to allow the bed to come down and give us a nice view of that. See, we have the window up top there. There are cubby holes in the back with cup holders as well, as long as another 110 outlet back there. And this is a residential size queen mattress, a 60 by 80 queen mattress. Extremely easy to use, uh, just as easy to put back. Makes it really convenient and gives you more living space as well. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Surveyor. 203 RKLE. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866 338 9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.